Hi there, today we'd like to show you how easy it is to integrate the new Onkyo TX8050 stereo network receiver with an Android device. The first thing you want to do is turn on the network control feature in the 8050. To do this, simply press setup on the front panel, reading the two-line display, scroll down to network, hit enter, scroll down to network control, it'll say disable, click the right arrow, It'll say Enable, and click Return. It'll ask you to save it. Press Enter to save. Now you can get out of Setup by either pressing Return or Setup again, and you're done. Now just download the Onkyo app from the Android Marketplace. When you launch it, it'll open up, and it will search for devices on the network. If there's only one, it'll come straight up. It'll pre-select the main zone, click on the Power button, as you can see from the unit behind you, it'll turn the unit on. If you want one of the other zones, click Main and choose whichever zone you want it. We'll be working in the Main Zone, so here we can now go down to the Input Selector and you'll see all the inputs available. We're going to want to choose Network or Net. From there, selecting the arrow to the right of net will show you all the network sources that are available. These are all the streaming services that are built in. We're going to choose VTuner. Once you select VTuner, well, we're going to select Local Stations. This will automatically populate with all the local stations in your area. Select one, and it'll begin to stream and play. Let's choose another station. We're going to choose NetTop. It'll take you back and show you all the services available. And we'll choose something off uh, Opio this time. When you choose Opio, you would need to choose an artist station. I want to listen to an artist station. It's going to ask you, okay, who? So you type in here, type in anything that you want to search for here. We're going to type in pink, and here we'll show you everything that starts with pink. And we're going to choose Pink Floyd. It'll begin streaming the Pink Floyd themed station on Opio. It'll flip over, it'll show you cover art, the artist, the title and track of the currently playing song. Now that you're playing, you can adjust volume by pressing the speaker. Now you have a volume slider as well as your mute button. Hitting the mute button will engage mute just as you had on the receiver. We'll unmute it, and you can adjust this, the volume just simply by sliding the, uh, the indicator on the slider. Here's another fun thing you can do with Android. Clicking the Android button, this will let you browse through the music that you have on your phone. Select and play whatever you like. And it will be streaming wirelessly to your 8050 receiver and playing through your regular speakers. Pressing the configuration button on the Android, now you can go in and change models. Here you see the information for the one that you're already connected to. You can change its friendly name if you like. Zone settings, and here you can rename the zone. So instead of main and zone two, you can have it say den and bedroom, what have you. Click OK. We'll go back and change the input selections. Now, there are so many inputs here, you probably don't have all of them populated. If you don't want them all to show up, if you just uncheck the ones you don't want to show up, now we'll go back to the input page and you'll see that Blu-ray and VCR are no longer present. You probably don't want to cut those off, so let's go ahead and put those back on. Configuration, input selector, and then just highlight those again, and they'll be back on. Now the same thing goes for your network channels. 
So you're not going to subscribe to all of these, so we're going to undo VTuner and Pandora just for the sake of uh, demonstration. And as we go back to the network options, you'll see that those two no longer exist. Now I really like those two, so we're putting them back on. We'll go back to configuration and just tap those again so that they're checked off. Now when I go back, you'll see that they are still there, or there again. So now we've walked you through some of the paces of the Android app with the Ankyo TX8050 receiver. Have fun with it, and enjoy!